Hi everyone, I'm glad you found my little corner of the internet. This is Carrie with Flip Flop Weekend. I was chatting with a family member not too long ago and I said, what do you think is the biggest question that people ask when planning their Disney vacation? You know, is it what fast pass I need to get? What's the best time of year? And she responded very simply. She said, where to start? You know, once you get started on a big project, sometimes it's more overwhelming to think about where to start than to just plow through and do it. So that's what spurred this post because you want to start with my disney experience so my disney experience is the online portal that is going to host your you're going to be able to link all your family members all your tickets all your dining reservations fast passes it's nearly impossible to plan a disney vacation without having a my disney experience account so i wanted to do a tutorial of how to get that set up um, and so if you are a text learner, you can certainly scroll through. I added some screenshots. I went as step-by-step -step as I possibly could um, with the basics of how to create your account and how to download the app. So the app is gonna be incredibly crucial. I linked to it in my post. Um, you're gonna be able to see wait times, make reservations, check your fast passes all from your phone. But to do that, you still have to start and create the account. And I like to use the desktop to create accounts, but um, I, you can do it on your phone if you're comfortable with that. So um, you're going to want to click through to My Disney Experience, or if you're not on my post, you can just go to disneyworld.disney.go.com. Um, if you type My Disney Experience in Google, it's going to be the first thing that comes up. So you're, if you don't have an account, you're going to create an account. You're going to fill in all of this information. It's completely free and you're going to answer some security questions, complete your res res uh, res reservation, we're not there yet, excuse me, registration. And if you wanna receive update special offers, check market, you can opt out if you don't wanna clutter up your inbox. But you know, if you're gonna get offers from anybody, why not Walt Disney World? And that's how you're gonna find out about certain times of year that they have special discounts, festivals, and the resort discounts, new dining, new things. That's, so it's kinda of neat to get that. Um, and then you read and agree to the conditions and you click create account. Once you create your account, you're going to go, you're going to essentially get sent back to your start page and it can be kind of easy to miss. But as you get sent back to your start page, you're going to finally see your name up here. Um, this is a dummy account. This is not my actual account that I use with my family um, because I, there is some personal information that, that can come up depending on what you're doing. But I did create this dummy account, if you will, for Flip Pop Weekend. So uh, nobody's linked on this right now. I haven't made any reservations on it. So you would create um, your account and you'll go up here. And then you will see My Disney Experience over in this tab. There's a lot of other research you can do here. You can find the different theme parks, what's going on, park hours, places to stay, look at uh, resort costs. If you book anything on here, it's automatically going to link to your My Disney Experience. If you create this account after you've gotten your tickets, you can still link, and we'll talk about that kind of briefly here. So My Disney Experience, first thing you want to maybe do is create your little avatar person. So oh, we must have thought I logged out. This is my personal one, so hold on. There we go. All right, so as you get up to that My Disney experience and you see your new profile, you can get started on your planning page. I currently do not have a hotel reservation, but it's automatically gonna let you link it if you do. I am gonna make plans with my family. So this is where you can hit yes and you can choose to manage plans uh, for people. So if you have young children, you'll fill them in here. Let me add my husband because I can manage his plans. Is that right, ladies? Actually, my husband is awesome and works for Disney in the summer, and that's why we get a lot of the benefits that we do. Um, 18 plus, and I can manage all plans for this guest. Now, my husband does have an account, so I can send him an invitation to connect uh, with his email address if I wanted to. Um, and it would essentially link our accounts, but I tend to just kind of do, I want to manage all plans and then add everything myself. And you can add as many people as you want. So if you have family members that are coming with you or friends, it might be easier to connect with them 
and then you'll be able to still access all of their plans and have everything linked together. You can go down here and create your profile. This is where you get to change your character. So on my personal one that we use as a family, I'm Ariel, but I think for this one, I'm gonna be Alice. I love Alice. And you can also select characters for other members of your family. So when you add them to your profile and there's so many to choose from, this is fun. That'll show up in your app as well. Hit done. Okay, this is where you're gonna tell them about yourself. You're gonna add all of your name and birthday, contact information, communication preferences. This is the crucial parts. You're gonna um, see your memberships and passes and, and you're gonna be able to add your annual pass. If you happen to be a cast member, you probably already know how to do this, but you gotta demand entrance pass. Um, I, it says I'm a Florida resident, so it's automatically added that so that I can see those special offers. Um, but this is where you, you would link some of your uh, your annual pass. Everybody, regardless of whether you have an annual pass or not, needs to go down and store their payment method and PIN. This is how you can pay from your magic band when you are on Disney property. So you can add your credit card, which will hold dining reservations, and also set your room account PIN. Um, you're going to want to make sure that all of this is, is up to date so that it's hassle-free when you're at Disney. You can just scan your band. It's also a little bit dangerous, honestly. You can scan your band and, and pay for things. All right, so after you have your tickets and reservations, if you're not purchasing them beforehand, um, if, or excuse me, if you're not purchasing them after you've created your account, um, you can link them. So when you create your resort reservation, uh, you go in here, you'll link it, type in your confirmation number and your last name, and it's automatically going to connect it then to your account. Same thing with tickets, dining reservations, and passes. And then after all of that is done, you have to have tickets linked in order to create your fast passes, but then you can go up to uh, things to do, and you can make your dining reservations, and you can also um, get your fast passes. So you can do fast pass right here, actually. Under my Disney experience. This is gonna help you get started. I don't have tickets linked on here, so I'm not gonna be able to go any further, but at this point, it's fairly self-explanatory. You get up to three fast passes at a time for one park, and after you use your three fast passes, you can go back into your app and get another fast pass one at a time, really for any park if you're park hopping, um, but it's dependent on availability. So that would be the day of after you use those, those fast passes. Um, and if you are on property, if you're staying at Disney on property, you can do that 60 days in advance. If you are not on property, you have a 30 day window. So that's just a really quick overview of how to get started on, on my Disney experience. But once you have this account, you're going to be able to do so much. You're going to be able to make your dining reservations. You're going to be able to add your family and friends. You're going to be able to add your magic bands. Um, you're going to be able to see your photos and order your photo pass pictures. Um, and you're going to be able to keep track of your itinerary. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure you have the app on your phone. At least one person in your party have the app on your phone. And you can go to um, links in my post. Excuse me, sorry, I hope I'm not making you sick with my scrolling. I gotta remember where I put it. There you go. Download on the App Store, or you can get it on Google Play if you have Android. And once you're in there, you'll sign in. If you have a touchscreen phone, or a, excuse me, a thumbprint code phone, you can use your thumbprint to sign in really easily. And you'll be able to see wait times when you're in the parks to kind of plan your route accordingly the day of. You'll be able to see your upcoming fast passes. And sometimes I even screenshot those in case the site gets glitchy and you get up there and they say your fast pass isn't working. That does unfortunately sometimes happen, but I've been able to show them this and they let me on um, because they know that it's just their system and not my lack of planning. Um, and then you can also check park hour, show times, um, and also find reservations even at the last minute and check your pictures. So that's pretty much all there is to it to get started. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or comment on the post and I'd be happy to help. Thanks.